Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm here with my wonderful cowabunga wife, Laura. And we're here to look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pizza Cookbook. Yes. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it is a delicious, delicious pizza mouthful. Yes. I got this for my birthday courtesy of my mother-in-law. Yes. Which is very kind of her. Because she's an awesome mother-in-law, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's a mix of... So if you've seen the original show, um, a running thing with the show was they always had really, really weird pizzas. Yeah. Um, there are weird pizzas in this, um, but not nearly as bad as what some of them were in the show. No. Um, so so they're, they're sort of inspired by... Yeah, so these are a whole bunch of pizza and pizza-inspired recipes from the show as well as just general nice-sounding pizzas. Um, so, so it's kind of a novelty cookbook, but totally useful as well. Yeah, so we're just going to uh, take a look through... We're probably not going to look at every sort of recipe, but we'll point it, out... It's a fairly thick... Yeah. Book. And it's a nice quality book, we will say. It's a nice hardcover. The pages feel nice and thick. Um, and it's a relatively new one as well, if anyone is looking for it. Uh, I think it came out in about May this year, roughly. Was it Book Depository, you think? You yeah, book, book Depository sells it. Whether they I'm sure Amazon them. and all that probably sell it too, but yeah. obviously... That, that's what we use, yeah. Um, so it's a pretty awesome book. We've had a quick flick through, or well, you did for your birthday, like on your birthday. You got like it. full colour photos. So you get the full effect. And there are a lot of Ninja Turtles through the book, which there is are. nice. <laughs> so uh, contents, so it's also based on the original cartoon, not the new Nickelodeon one, all the movies. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch of like um, basics in there, like pizza doughs and sauces and things that you would just put you know, on the base. Which is really handy, yep. even for just general pizza making. Yeah, exactly. It's and a, then It's a good children's book, or like, you know, someone's maybe nine or ten and really wants to start to cook. It's... Yeah, absolutely. Um, but good for adults too. If you're fans of you know Ninja Turtles, anyway, there's different categories of pizzas, and I think for me the masked mutations is the most interesting because they are pizza inspired, but not actually pizzas. And of course, you've got sweet pizza, sweet pizzas. Yeah, <laughs> that are not so pizza like anymore. Uh, and you also notice, I'm pretty <clears throat> sure almost every single um, pizza name is some sort of pun or. Based off the show and, and yeah. the characters, yeah. It's pretty awesome. I think whoever has made this has done a fantastic job. So we're just going to sort of flip through healthy swaps and cooking tips. So you, you maybe jump ahead a little bit. So the, the start is like talking about pizza and techniques and all those basic sort of recipes like sauces. Yeah, but I just think, I like the design of it. It's colourful and it's bright. And like I said, the pages feel really nice. Yeah. Um, we aim to kind of try and cook maybe some recipes out of this. Maybe some of the more quirky ones um, in future videos. So let us know. If you do want to see that, yeah, let, let us know. So here are the old school. So these are like the classics, New York style pepperoni pizza. Old school Italian. Mikey's meat, Meatza Mayhem. Which <laughs> yeah. It's a mouthful. Um, oh, that looks nice. Yeah, well, you like um, pineapple on your pizza, don't you? Um, interesting thing, they have, I, I like this cute little symbol that they've got up here, sorry if you can't see that, that tells you um, the size of the pizza. It's in inches, not what we use in Australia no. for measurement, but we can convert that. And there's a general description, so for the sewer surfer, it's, after catching a ride on the algae green waves of the sewer, the brothers crave this radical pie topped with red sauce, chunks of ham and juicy pineapple, and lots of oozy mozzarella. Mm, they make it sound really good. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you've got the ingredients, which is thing, and then instructions. instructions. And yeah. they're all really clear, like, they're, they're, they're not complex or anything. No, they're quite simple. As we said, we're probably going to cook some of these, um, hopefully, on camera um, for you. Or at least, even if we can't show you the full cook on camera, because our kitchen is quite small, Yeah. Um, we will show you, like, the final <laughs> the final product. Oh, uh, Ralph's Rude Shroom. Ralph. Ralph, sorry. <laughs> Who's Ralph? <laughs> I think of the Simpsons. Ralph, the Ninja Turtle. <laughs> the flavour of this pie is cool but rude. Just like Raphael, it's piled with garlic, mushrooms, onions and fontina, fontina cheese. cheese. So prepare yourself for some serious ninja breath. I didn't realise ninjas sort of... Apparently they have their own breath. <laughs> you might not think it's rude, but the next person who talks to you will. And there's also, um, we forgot to mention, a lot of the recipes have a lightening it up dude. Uh, you can make it healthier, and they suggest like, yeah. su substituting. <laughs> healthier, not healthy. <laughs> you know, so they use whole wheat pizza dough instead of you know regular flour and low fat ricotta and like mozzarella or whatever cheese. So yeah, they give you quite a few options. So you're still in the the basic sort of section. There we go. So new this school. is a new school. Yeah. So these are more sort of modern takes. Deep dish goulash pizza. We don't really have deep dish pizzas in Australia, so I'd be interested to like try making that. That one. just looks like like bolognese pasta on like a, a pizza. Yeah, base. that's yeah. 
Uh, That's kind of what it is. Chocolate, chocolate chili, chili pepper pizza with butternut squash. That <laughs> sounds awful. Yeah. See, these are the sort of ones that we definitely want to try. The really weird and wacky ones. Oh, this is a Laura one. Laura loves macaroni. I yeah. love macaroni and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Can't decide whether oh. you want mac or cheese uh, and cheese or pizza. Well, this mega awesome pizza. You can have them both at the same time. You can keep um, flicking. I just wanted to mention that we have other kind of... I don't want to call them novelty <laughs> cookbooks because you can totally it, use them. It's just novelty? That is, yeah. Um, yeah, they're kind of more unique cookbooks. They're not just I guess. like, you know, a microwave cookbook or a chitty cookbook. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a whole range of these actually. We've got a World of Warcraft one and a Gilmore Girls one. We have Coca Cola and like branded cookbooks and stuff. So it's also, if, we, if you enjoyed this video, just looking at the book, we'll have more of these coming. There's also a couple of weird facts. Did you know, bro, the Turtle Communicator was way ahead of its time? In 2015, mobile ordering made up 23% of all food orders in the United States. Mm, there you go. So they're, they're all throughout the book. Like I said, whoever has done this has done a really good job. And they obviously really cared about... By the way, if you see one where you're flicking through that you want to see us make or tell you what it ends up tasting like, let us know which one you think looks... Not, not tastiest, but just the most interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Lean, mean, and green. Ooh. Mm. Total Ooh. tuna meltdown. I pass on that one, thank you. Yeah, it looks a bit like cat food, that one. Yeah. Ooh, that looks nice. Pepper and sweet pickle pie. Mm. Crazy corn and bodelicious bean pizza. Bodacious. Bodelicious. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mars Mutations are the one where. These are the ones I'm really interested in. These are the ones that aren't pizza anymore, but they're pizza flavored. Yeah, do, sort do you of see, see how they're riding a motorbike and like sidecars like made out of a trash can, a rubbish bin? I think that's where most of the pizzas are going to go in this section no <laughs> i think they're interesting like look at these pizza pot stickers so how cool would that be so they're like um the dumplings but just with pizza ingredients big awesome. city burger so like burger from inspired pizza mm -hmm. master splinter spinach calzones yeah i could go for that cow bunga boats mm. they're made with um Eenies? which is very odd why Bebop popcorn. I see. I'd like that. I really like um, popcorn and different flavors. You can't ones. have bebop popcorn without Rocksteady rolls. <laughs> sure. I've got more tongue twisters <laughs> than a, a Doctor Zeus book in this. It's it's just it's good for a laugh, even if you don't end up making everything in the book either. Pizza ramen soup. I think this is one we definitely have to try. I've actually we've actually eaten a pizza soup before. Um, would you believe? It was, good, wasn't it? <laughs> it was nice. Yeah. Ralph's waffles. Ralph. Ralph. I don't know why you keep calling him Ralph. I, I'm, I'm hallucinating an L in there. I see. <coughs> Total power pizza salad that was. Green ooze smoothie. This one seems like an odd one to put in there. It has nothing to do with pizza. Makes two servings. Well, it's got baby spinach and apple, banana, peanut or almond butter and unsweetened almond milk. So I don't yeah. understand how that... That doesn't really, you know... And here we have the sweet dude, or the sweet inspired pizzas. That looks delicious. That does look nice. Mm. Nice and... Better go to the mm. kitchen. <laughs> I actually had one of these similar the other day. A homemade one at um, a function I went to. Mm. Much to your dismay. Yeah, that, Jojo I didn't White. know about that. <laughs> Casey's cookies, which look they really look good. look like pizzas, though. Casey's cookie continue. That's a long one. Yoga Crunch. Peanut butter and jelly justice, slice of the action, and look shredders there because he's, you know, do you get it? Do you get it? Yes, we, we all get Ooh, it. Now that York. looks nice to New me. New York cheesecake pizza. That just looks like a cheesecake. It's just flat. I like how it's like lighten it up, dude. There's not It's cheesecake. It doesn't have to be light. <laughs> if you're making a cheesecake, just Don't go for it. Choc tato chip experiment. That one I'm curious to try. So as, as I said, if you've seen one that you really want us to try first, let us know. Give me smalls. Um, and we'll definitely take that into consideration when we pick. Ninja ice cream pizza. I think I can imagine what that would be like. Hmm. Planning a TMNT party. Yeah, so it gives you some ideas of decorations and snacks and things you can have if you want to do a themed party as well, which is it's cool. Our kids are not old enough for a Ninja Turtles party, probably, no. though. No. So. Active kids and adults, beverages, sewer water, and green mutures and drinks. Mmm, yummy. Whip, whip up a few batches of the green new smoothie. Yeah, you know, the kids are going to love that. <laughs> Measuring conversion charts, which is very handy considering we're in Australia. So, yes. and we um, do not use ounces and um, fluid yeah. ounces and Fahrenheit no. and all that. And then conclusion and just the acknowledgement. So, yeah, it's a really, really nice book. Even this page is nice, just like the the start and the end. So, pretty awesome. I'm impressed, and I'm looking forward to 
getting in it, maybe cooking some of them. <laughs> cooking some radical pizzas. Yeah, exactly. So if you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know down below which one you want us to test out first. Don't forget to hit subscribe and check out the link down below to our toy review channel. I'm glad you remembered. I almost said food review and I was like, no, that's the channel we're on right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.